Good morning. It is May 18th and it's time for our daily dose of good news. And we are reading from Psalm 115 today. Not to us, O Lord, not to us, but to your name, give glory. For the sake of your steadfast love and your faithfulness, why should the nations say, where is their God? Our God is in the heavens. He does whatever he pleases. Their gods, their idols are silver and gold, the work of human hands. They have mouths, but do not speak, eyes, but do not see. They have ears, but do not hear, noses, but do not smell. They have hands, but do not feel, feet, but do not walk. They make no sound in their throats. Those who make them are like them. So are all who trust in them. O Israel, trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. O house of Aaron, trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. You who fear the Lord, trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. The Lord has been mindful of us. He will bless us. He will bless the house of Israel. He will bless the house of Aaron. He will bless those who fear the Lord, both small and great. May the Lord give you increase, both you and your children. May you be blessed by the Lord who made heaven and earth. The heavens are the Lord's heavens, but the earth he has given to human beings. The dead do not praise the Lord, nor do any that go down into that silence. But we will bless the Lord from this time on and forevermore. Praise the Lord. Here ends the reading. And when I read this text today, I was struck by the, re the reminder that we are blessed by God. And I think that's good for us to focus on and dwell upon. I know with our confirmation kids this past week, we just finished studying the Lord's Prayer. And part of what we emphasized with that was how we come to the Lord boldly and we ask for what we need. Give us today our daily bread. And I think it's a good reminder for us to also ask for God's blessings. And I think we can hesitate to do that because we worry that we're maybe treating God like God is a genie and we're rubbing the lamp and asking for lottery tickets or something. But I think it's more about remembering God wants us to ask for what we need so that our lives are healthy and nourishing and fulfilling for us and that God wants to give us good things. God wants to bless us and we need to ask and it's okay to ask and that God cares about both the small things and the big things in our lives and God doesn't resent our asking. I think we do need to be in alignment with God, but that's relatively easy to think about of what, what does God want for us? God wants us to have peace. God wants us to have wisdom. God wants us to have loving relationships with each other. So I think there are many things that we can ask for as blessings that are in alignment with God's will for us. And they can be small things or big things. So I'd ask for you to think about that today and consider what might be some blessings that you can ask for in God's name. And I actually have some right behind me. Um, as you all know, I moved into a new little house and I have been spending this week planting window boxes that I bought and had put on the windows and they're super adorable and they're super cute. And it has been great for me to be in this space that feels beautiful and lovely and maintainable and a place where I can unwind. And I get to hear the birds chirp in my yard and there's an adorable little boy and girl who live next door and I get to hear them playing in their yard. 
And there you go, there's some more playing in their yard. <laughs> but it brings me joy and it brings me peace and it brings me contentment. And, and God cares about me having those things. And God cares about you having those things. And so I thought it might be a good exercise to grab a piece of paper and jot down some blessings that you want to ask God for today and put the date on it. And then put that in your Bible or somewhere and wait and see how God might answer that request and might answer that prayer. But the Lord is mindful of us and the Lord will bless us. And maybe we see it immediately and maybe we see it days from now or months from now or years from now. But it's a good reminder for us to ask and then to look for it, remembering that our God loves to bless us with the things that we need that create health and wholeness in our lives. And that's part of why we bless God in return is because God's so awesome to do things like that. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.